Hey ladies, it is Victoria Player here of victoriaplayer.com. It is Friday and as always on a Friday, it is time for the Friday School. <laughs> Okay, if you are watching this video now, I know you will be a female entrepreneur. You will be somebody who is absolutely passionate about what you do. Also, I know many of you have a desire to really make a positive difference in the world and impact all of your clients in a positive way. But most of all, a lot of you chose the entrepreneurial path in order to start generating more freedom, whether that's time freedom or whether it's financial freedom. Not only that, but I know a lot of you really broke out of their employment and chose the entrepreneurial path in order to start designing your business in a way that is a true and exciting representation of who you Okay, so are. let me ask you a quick question. Do you ever look at other successful entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, successful business owners and have that quiet longing, that sort of quiet envy that, you know, when you look at their lifestyle, when you look at the financial freedom and the security that they've created for themselves, when you look at, well, not so much, not just the financial security, but the, the freedom of choice that that creates as a result of generating the financial freedom. Do you ever look at them with a sort of quiet envy? Because if you are anything like I was when I started out in business about, what was it, six or seven years ago now, I remember I there were a couple of mentors that I followed and I subscribed to their email newsletter. It would arrive religiously in my inbox each and every week. And I would look through it and it was filled with lovely pictures of the fabulous lifestyle they were li living and various destinations that they were going to. And the thing that struck me always was um, there was always lovely photos of them working with groups of women, you know, their clients at a high end in beautiful locations. And then I would read the testimonials and the video testimonials from their clients, sharing what an impact they'd had on their lives and what wonderful transformations they'd had as a result. And it used to break my heart. Not because in a nasty way towards the mentor, but because it's something I wanted so much for myself. I wanted that lifestyle. I wanted to be doing something that lit me up, that really made a difference to other people, where I was in community, where I was working with clients at a certain level. And I wanted to have that business that was a true representation of who I am. But at the time, my story was completely different. I was really struggling financially. I had a few clients, you know, I'd work with clients for a short time. I'd be on the financial straight and narrow for five minutes. Then I'd be right back where I was again, struggling, working way too hard, thinking, oh my goodness, where's the next client come from, going to come from? How am I going to pay my bills? You know the story. And to look at others' lifestyles, it seemed like some far off dream that was totally unaccessible to me, that I was here and they were like way off in the distance. It was like a fantasy land that someone like me would never be able to reach. And today I wished I'd known some of the things I know now. And actually I want to share with you today two tips that I now use in my business each and every day that if I'd used six or seven years ago, I wouldn't have had some of those experiences that I've just described So the first tip is to really get clear on what lights you up. You know, if you are looking at other people and you get that pang of, not jealousy, but that, that longing feeling, oh, I wish that was me, then just tune into that. Listen to what that's about because that is what you're meant for. That is your path. That 
is what you can do and you can do it faster than you imagine but you just need to decide so just be open with this don't limit yourself you know get your journal out write out the question what would really light me up what would make me want to jump out of bed each day what would just rock my world and make me think yes I am living in my greatest glory what would that be for you take some time over it take the whole week come back to it each day do whatever you need to do and then the second point is to decide that you are going to be the woman that lives that life that is running her business in that way, that is working with her clients in that way, that is making the decisions that, that those people that you look up to are doing. Make the decision and start to be that woman starting today. Get your journal out every morning and ask yourself, what would the woman living my dream lifestyle be doing today? and take the first step because that's all it takes. Every step leads to the next step, to the next step, to the next step. And there's a beautiful um, saying by Oliver Wendell Holmes that says, the first, je- the fir- the first step of a thousand miles, no, <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. So write that out put it on the wall in front of you, somewhere you see it every day, and just take the first step, take the next step, take the next step. That's all it takes. And before you know it, you will be moving towards your dream life, to your dream business, and truly designing your business and your lifestyle in a way that's a true and exciting representation of who you are. So that is it for this week. Thank you so much for listening in to the Friday Scoop. I will see you as always, same time, same place next week for another installment of the Friday Scoop. So thanks for listening in. Take care. Let's go.